Hello, this is just a short video about a uh, Zender uh, Comfort Flex 350 unit um, because I didn't find a lot of information about this unit online, meaning like a YouTube videos where I could actually check out the unit when it's installed <clears throat> and just to see what's the noise level and just how it all plugs in and connects. So um, in my house, just to give you some overview, um, I didn't have any kind of a ventilation system and I built a new house without any kind of a ventilation system and after a few years I realized that in winter we were getting the condensed water on the windows um, and uh, it just wasn't a great experience especially in winter because of the humidity that would just be retained in the house um, because my house is well insulated so now uh, it was just a mistake not to uh, put any kind of a ventilation system into the house. So uh, last year I decided that I do want to put some ventilation system into the house. So I went through a few options and uh, uh, we just picked the probably the best uh, company on the market, which is Zender. And we decided to go for this unit because it is pretty small like it's not too giant i'm just gonna give you a closer look <clears throat> in a minute um so uh, my cr criteria for the build was that i have a existing house so there is not much of a damage or i didn't just want to completely rebuild some parts of the house just because of the ventilation system so <clears throat> i uh, before i actually picked this unit i was actually considering grabbing one of these or actually a few of these uh, local ventilation systems but uh, to put one into each room when i wanted to the ventilation to be but it just seemed when i kind of calculated the cost it was just as expensive as this whole unit so <clears throat> uh, even though it would have been easier uh, this is just a more complex more robust uh, solution <clears throat> so my criteria criteria when i was picking on this unit <clears throat> uh, was that uh, i needed something so i could put it into my attic so you can kind of see that i've got a pretty small uh, like entry into the attic so I had to pick a unit that I can just fit in here. It was a very fiddly actually to get the unit in here. We have to dismantle the stairs and we had to put the unit in here. And it was a lot of work. So we were doing all of this ourselves. <clears throat> we didn't hire any kind of a company. Uh, we just contacted Sender, which uh, gave us the project or they just kind of did all the recommended placement of the <clears throat> exhaust and intakes of the air and uh, we got a product list that we were supposed to order so me and my dad <clears throat> put an order uh, in one of the companies and they uh, kind of delivered all, all the parts for us so we didn't really have, really have to wonder too much like what we're gonna need it was all in the Zender uh, product list that we got from them um, I have to say that my dad is a builder, so he's quite skilled, <clears throat> very precise. So uh, this is not something that I would recommend everyone to do by themselves. But if you are somewhat skilled, like it doesn't have to be as pretty as this kind of uh, build, because I do think it's very well made. It's all things very precise and uh, like it's very clean like when we put the ventilation unit in here you can see that i still have like plenty of space everywhere like it didn't consume any of the space like this kind of a led lighting uh wasn't in here um but one thing to mention that if you are picking up this unit because uh you need um this thing where the uh, condensed water would go in um, so uh, we were lucky enough that we do have this in here so we did have a pipe that goes to the wastewater so 
uh, we could we were just able to pick this unit up without any issues with this <clears throat> uh, so um, I'm just gonna give you a closer look at the unit itself right now it's running uh, but it's running on the lowest setting so uh, you can see in here and I have to really squeeze and you have to kind of crawl under it Mm, but there is still not enough space to like manipulate it even though like you don't need any kind of a manipulation except for like the filter replacement um, and maybe some kind of a cleanup um, so right now it's running I'm gonna uh, shut my mouth for a little bit and you can kind of listen if you hear anything uh, outside is a quite a lot of wind so maybe you could get confused by it but let's just listen for a few seconds Like it's uh, barely audible at all. Uh, another thing to mention is that when uh, uh, you're kind of deciding for this unit, we had to have the attic insulated as well. So I did the insulation by myself two years ago. So I um, put the insulation into the kind of the roof part. Sorry, I don't know all the terms in English, but uh, so I. I did the insulation of it. It also puts the blue kind of a insulation in here, like the uh, kind of the foamy. Uh, I just don't know the term, but uh, you can see it. Uh, so that kind of insulated parts of the roof as well, like much better than uh, the other insulation would do. So. Uh, the attic is insulated. Uh, the lowest temperatures that we are getting here so far have been, it's not heated, um, but of course it's getting some heat from the um, floor below it. So the lowest we are getting when it's like a lot of re uh, wind outside during the winter months, it's been um, uh, greater than 11 degrees Celsius. So um, it does get cold but not too cold mm, and it would be only for a few days in the year like it's definitely not a constant thing not in our climate um, so as you can see we kind of did all the intakes and out the uh, sorry the exhausts uh, uh, the nice thing about this unit is that you can have it mm, uh, kind of configured as left or right so the intake or exhaust would be on uh, different sides you can just configure that um, then we have here these noise suppressors and we chose this kind of a mounting because we wanted to also then do the ventilation to our ground floor so this setup is only done for the first floor so floor where we would be sleeping uh, uh, with the kids as well so there is like three rooms and then there is a, a closet room and uh, uh, there is a bathroom so all of these rooms have their own kind of exhaust and intakes depending on which room you are but we wanted to put here uh, uh, eight eight outlets that you can see here for the intake and the uh, exhaust so uh, we could then possibly uh, put piping and put it like down to the ground floor so we could also ventilate the <clears throat> living room um, maybe the bathroom uh, and there is also like a office room um, so all of this is quite it's just very fiddly if you are in an uh, enclosed environment like the attic is. There's not much space to move, so you would have to always crawl. But if you would like to do this yourself, like it's not a big deal. If you are uh, two people doing it, then uh, you should be able to handle it. Like all of the components from Zender are kind of click together or like sealed together but there is nothing too complicated i would say um 
and you can see where these pipes are going uh, these pipes could be even more insulated possibly but uh, we just want to try it out this is our first year and i haven't really noticed too much of an issue with the air getting too cold in the pipe so i would have like a cold air in the first floor uh, so you can see that it's kind of all put to the sides so it doesn't take any space <clears throat> uh, uh, in the attic it's all together um, I'm just gonna do a shot around here uh, there is a uh, this pipe is just the leftover that we have so this is not connected to anything um, but you can kind of see how this is done I would say that the biggest issue that we had was just to get the unit in here uh, from the first floor to the attic because uh, the unit is quite like it's not very big as I said but it's large and for the little entrance that we have it was really very tight when we are putting it in here so I'm just gonna show you a bit more of this unit We actually did quite a lot of work in the attic that wasn't really needed, uh, but we just wanted to have it nice, uh, nicely built in here. So you can see there is a power outlet, so we could connect the unit, um, which wasn't here before. So we just had to put the cable in here. Um, And I have to say, just in case you are wondering, this unit is above, uh, kind of above our bedroom, not not entirely, just part of it. And um, it is not noisy at all, like you cannot really hear the unit at all, like there is no, if you are wondering if you are going to have any issue with the noise, no, there is no noise issue at all. Like the unit is super quiet. Uh, uh, haven't noticed any kind of a noise issue. Uh, and that is also like if you are in here and you are setting it up, um, just it's a very quiet unit. There's no issue with noise at all. Um, uh, I hope this helps. Uh, if you are thinking of picking up this unit and maybe putting it into your existing house uh, just so you have some inspiration or an example of an existing build uh, and just how to uh, nicely put a unit into your house uh, without making too much uh, too much changes or modifications to your uh, existing uh, building thank you very much if you have any questions please feel free to comment under the video um, I can give you close-ups or any other information that you like to know thank you